this is one of those reaction videos where we're watching the final episode of Mrs. Maisel. No spoilers here, but there's a great line that Lenny Bruce says about Midge's autograph that I want you to watch. So they're in a diner and they're talking about being famous. Now, if you've ever given an autograph, it is a pain in the butt because you're walking, you're trying to get your car. If you stop, they crowd you. So watch this. If someone asks for your autograph, they should be able to read your name. No, wrong. If they can read your name, they will feel cheated. They will know you are real. They went to school. She can write a check. Okay, here. What do you think? Who's this? My autograph. I see at least three letters very clearly again. So let me back up and pause the video. Lenny Bruce, played here by this amazing actor, was one of the most amazing groundbreaking comedians in the entire world back in the 50s and 60s. He actually, just like Elvis Presley, was arrested on stage and thrown in jail for obscenity. What I love about the marvelous Mrs. Maisel TV show is it sort of chronicles the early days of stand-up comedy. And most of you know that that's been one of my hobbies and my fascinations for a long time. I think that comedians like George Carlin and Ricky Gervais are the prophets of our time because they can speak the truth. And people are like, okay, yeah, he's a comic, doesn't matter. But if a politician says it, no one believes him, right? So what's great about this episode is he's saying, look, here's my signature and it's supposed to be messy because people don't want to know you're real. So here's my thoughts on that. If you're a celebrity, yes, you can have a messy autograph, but please don't take that autograph into real contracts because once you get to court and someone signs your name, they're gonna like, look, you signed an autograph. So I think Lenny Bruce was pretty smart by saying don't have a legible autograph, but that does not mean you shouldn't have a legible signature for legal contracts. If you don't know who Lenny Bruce is, let me do a little fanboy thing here. Lenny Bruce said some brilliant things, and I think he was a real pioneer of comedy. And on your screen, I put some quotes. Lenny Bruce said, It's the suppression of the word that gives it the power, the violence, and the viciousness. Now think about that. This is back in the 60s. Now we're fighting over what word you can use online or not. And he's literally talking about it 50 years ago. I love this one. Darwin's theory is as dead as he is. Everyone is surviving, fit or not. Years ago, any kid dumb enough to chase a shiny object down a hall was dead. <laughs> and he's out of the gene pool. Now, they got the technology and medicine to save that fool, and he can breed more open mouth breathers. <laughs> he's not a big fan of kids, was he? He is such a pessimist. But here's my favorite part, and since my podcast and my show is about freedom, Lenny Bruce said, freedom of speech is a two-way street man you have the right to say whatever you want but the boss has the right to tell the police to arrest you this is back in the 60s I mean, this is back when you couldn't sleep in the same bed in television remember the dick van dyke or i love lucy show they had separate beds like that's insane and now today we have word police you're white bart you can't say certain words my good friend an asian comic can't make Asian comic jokes. She actually almost got blacklisted for making a joke about how bad Asian women drive. Remember, she's an Asian woman, and she says, I'm not a very good driver. But that's not allowed anymore, because the police are out to get you. They're taking your freedom. That's why I love this show. Now, the handwriting part, please do yourself a favor. Unless you're a celebrity, make your signature as complex and as predictable as possible because it's just impossible to forge a signature that's authentic and real and takes time writing but it's not that difficult for someone to scribble it and think they can get it past a forensic examiner and what happens is even though you may not care when you die when you die your family is fighting over your estate because you're a scribbler don't be a scribbler don't do what Lenny Bruce said. It's Midge. Just scribble it so they know you're important and you don't care. Love this show. Anyway, that's my Midge, Maisel, Lenny Bruce rant. I'm going to come back with more of the Bart Baggett reacts because I found hundreds, and I want you to send me hundreds more of TV shows that have a handwriting sample or a clip or something to do with some of the psychology that we use. I'll review it. We'll react to it. And sometimes they get it right. And sometimes they get it wrong. So please hit the subscribe and like button. Follow my podcast, The Bart Show, the world's most interesting people on podcast everywhere. Follow this YouTube channel. And just follow me on social media, at Bart Baggett. I'm going to bring you more interesting reactions to what's on TV. 
and maybe you'll get my unvarnished opinion. Huh, yeah, you definitely will. I like being honest.